Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In today's video we're going to be talking about Battle of BC 6. It was an A plus tier that took place this weekend in Canada and this was one of my favorite tournaments to watch in a very long time especially the top 8 was just an absolute banger. Our top 16 finishers are going to be Raflo, Mr. R, MK Leo, and Monty in 13th, Syrup, Ron, Armadillo, and Big D in 9th. In 7th you're going to have Base Mage and Ouch. 5th is Toroguri and Riddles. 4th was Dora Miki. 3rd was Yoshidora. Second was Spargo, and winning the entire thing was Hurt. So let's talk about the top eight seeds that didn't get into the top eight. And it should be noted that there was a handful of DQs at this event, and most of them were seeded around, but two of them that weren't because they were last minute DQs are Sonics and Onan. And they're both top eight seeds that just didn't show up. The two top eight seeds that did show up though and didn't get into the top eight were Gluttony and M. Okay, Leo starting off with Gluttony. He's going to end up losing to Armadillo in the winner's side. And Armadillo Wario is a bit of a weird matchup for me because I wouldn't say it's super swingy into either character's favor because sometimes with Lucario, you're just going to die at like 0% because he has access to the waft. But when he doesn't have access to the waft, those stocks can get a little bit musty and we saw armadillo making really good usage out of that his aura usage as always was absolutely incredible and he just had a really solid run overall and immediately once glutin got sent down to the loser side he ended up getting three owed by ludo so massive shout out to Ludo for that one that is such an incredible upset to pull off over glutin and with this performance i would say that glutin isn't for sure not going to be top 10 this season because we're only halfway through we still got a bunch of events but as it stands right now his only good result at a major event is going to come from that really good third place at Umavora, as well as a really nice one at alt score but aside from that his events have been very shaky but he also hasn't been to a ton of stuff i'm very confident he's going to bounce back but as it stands right now not a top 10 contender which is crazy to say i didn't think glutiny would really ever follow the top 10 for the majority of smash ultimate's lifespan and the other one is going to be mk leo he's going to end up falling to toroguri in the winner's side 3-0 by toroguri and we'll talk about that when we talk about him but pretty crazy and then he ends up falling to ron in the loser side in a three to one and he ended up going all byleth in this set we saw a return of the byleth in this tournament he ended up using it to beat dark wizzy and then even though it didn't win versus ron i do like that he tried it because swords do do very well versus yoshi and i'm not sure if he's going to stick with the bath or pick up another sword character i think he should probably stick to just joker because that character is such a heavy time commitment but having a secondary sword isn't a bad idea by any means we're just gonna have to see which one he lands on I want to talk about the invaders that showed up at this event starting off with Europe and we already mentioned Glutiny getting 30 30 he's actually the lowest place in European of the event unless I forgot someone you're gonna have quick finishing in 25th he's gonna pick up wins on Sawstep and Sparkle most notably only losing to Lemon and Mr. R. Mr. R team kills a couple of his European friends because he also ends up beating Lancelot. Lancelot manages to get wins over Bernie and most importantly Ron beating him with Krom and we know that so characters do do fairly well versus yoshi but krom not a very good character to get a win versus a top 50 player in the world versus him is very very impressive and he's gonna end up losing to riddles in the winner side and as i mentioned mr r in the loser side and let's talk about the europe destroyer himself he's gonna end up beating jared as king in the winner side before going down to her and he can't feel too bad about that one the guy literally won the event he's gonna beat hawk quick and lancelot before falling to armadillo and we saw him trying out krom in that matchup it did end up taking a game but not the set and i don't really know how i feel about the mr r krom as a mr r fan it makes me very sad but as a krom fan it makes me very 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 happy so more krom i could definitely live with that one and then finally you're going to have raflo who probably had the most impressive run of the event from the europeans at least by the numbers maybe mr r did but they both end up finishing 13th he gets wins on seesaw chag and rewo only losing to big d and yoshidora yoshidora the winner side and then big d in a very competitive game five set in the losers that absolutely could have gone his way it was almost a reverse 3-0 and overall europe as a region has just been so much better recently we've been seeing them massively level up over time and this just feels like kind of the pinnacle of european players getting really consistent results and it's still very funny to me that gluto despite being the goat of europe was the lowest placing one and let's talk about the japanese invaders as well and a majority of them ended up in the top eight but for some that didn't you're gonna have Goryoka finishing in 25th he's gonna have a super nice loser run winning five sets in a row after losing to vic and he's gonna beat penjib bob the dustclops are mate jared is king and dark wizzy before falling to lemon and i'm not super confident whether he was playing b2 or whether it was joker it was probably joker just because you know b2 
not good character joker good character but Gorioka is low-key cracked on both and i feel like he could have made this run on both characters so i really just don't know you're gonna have Terra katori also finishing in 25th and he did this with little mac which is crazy to me he ends up picking up wins on danny and ed dog only losing to spargo and web jp and those are two world class fighters you can't feel too bad about that one you're gonna have ryuo he's gonna finish in 17th place getting wins over jojo hobo machu and burst only losing to base mage and raflo raflo very competitive set there ended up going game five and base mage ended up getting into the top eight and finally you're going to have ron who had arguably the run of the tournament for people that didn't get into the top eight because he loses fairly early on to lance Lot, but then he beats Nestboy 12, MFA Soar, and MK Leo, most notably, such a massive upset for him to pull off versus Byleth as well, which is a matchup that I don't think Yoshi does particularly great. And the one big flaw of this character is going to be the swords. And he just managed to beat arguably the best sword player this game has ever seen. So shout out to Ron for that. But he does end up falling to Ouch before the top eight. And Ron is just such a crazy good player i feel like if we get to see more of this guy at events he can reach the levels that yoshidora has demonstrated with yoshi because loki yoshi is very very good and i have three more runs i want to talk about before we get into that juicy top 12 and they're going to be from ludo chegg and monty starting off with chegg we don't get to see this guy in na often or i guess america often because he is from mexico but whenever we do it is an absolute treat and at this event he debuted at least to me his minmin and the minmin low key coat he ends up losing to raflo in the winner's side but he gets a win over tilde and that was because of the minmin and he also beats quandale dingle Ingleton to get into the top 24 and once in the top 24 he does end up losing right away but Still, very solid run from him. He's such a talented player. Whenever he shows up, I feel like he really does make waves at these events. And Ludo, we already kind of talked about his run, but he ends up losing to Quandale in the winner's side. And then he beats Major, Marvelous Marco, Gluttony, which is definitely the most important one. And then he beats Seesaw to get into the top 24. And once in the top 24, he ends up losing to our final run that I'm going to mention in this segment. And that is going to be Monty. And then I think I forgot to mention it, but Chegg ends up losing to Sierra. But back to Monty's run, he ends up beating Pink Bomb 91 or Pink Bombo 91 burst and tickle before falling to Dora Migi in a game five set very competitive could have gone into his favor then he beats Ludo but he ultimately falls to Syrup really solid run from him he's been the third best game watch in the world for quite some time now but at the majors he hasn't been able to really put a run together like this I would say that this is his best run to date at least at a major event so massive props to him for that so let's talk about that top 12 starting with our ninth place finishers and we already touched on ron but the first one i want to mention here is going to be syrup he's going to pick up wins on sparkle chag and monty only losing to hurt the guy that won the event and riddles the best player in canada and i think syrup has real potential to become the best steve player in america now it's a very tough title to take because onan is holding on to it very dearly but the way that syrup's been playing and the way that he's been getting better i think there's a very real chance that if he keeps up on this path he could absolutely do it you're also going to have armadillo in ninth place who had one of the runs of the tournament he beats guy guy and gluttony most notably before falling to ouch in a game five set that he absolutely could have won then he beats lemon and mr r and loses another game five set that he once again absolutely could have won very close to getting top eight this time around i believe it was a similar situation to last battle of bc as well where he was just one set away armadillo such a good player definitely the best lucario in the world and i really hope we get to see more of this guy because he's just so so talented and then finally you're gonna have big d a bit of a resurgence from this guy because he hasn't had the best results all things considered but he also hasn't really been to any events in 2024 i believe this is his first major of 2024 and he starts it off with a bang beating nestboy 12 web jp tickle and raflo only losing to spargo and toroguri which are two pretty tough draw spargo playing mithra and cloud which just destroy ice climbers and toroguri having so much ice climber experience from japan but big d looked super good overall and he's another player that you can really never count out even if it's like a minus 80 matchup into the top eight our seventh place finishers are going to be ouch and base mage and we finally saw regional out showing up at a major event the last time this guy top eight in a major was all the way back at battle of bc ford he's done it once again on the home turf he ends up getting wins over nadia dimitri and armadillo before falling to yoshidora where then he beats ron so bit of a yoshi diff right there sorry ron and then once in the top eight he ends up falling to riddles in a fairly one-sided set but really nice to see ouch at the top level of smash 
ultimate yet. He's one of the best wolf players in the entire world. And I do think he has a very bright future ahead of him. Just such an intelligent player. And hopefully we get to see more runs like this from him. And speaking of a player with a bright future, base mage, another stellar run from him. He ends up getting seventh place with wins over Carflow, Ryuo, and Sor before falling to Doramigi in a matchup that he definitely should win as Jigglypuff, but Doramigi played it extremely well. Then he ends up beating Armadillo in that very competitive game five set before falling to Tor Oguri. Man, just to take a game just like he did versus Doramigi, but ultimately falls. And I think for America, those are the two hardest people in this bracket being Doramigi and Tor Oguri. And we'll talk about them a little bit more when we talk about them. But overall for base range, very impressive run from him. The consistency and the highs that he's able to reach with Jigglypuff are incredible. Our fourth place finisher is going to be Doramigi, and in third place, you're going to have Yoshi Dora starting off with Doramigi. He's going to pick up wins on Goblin, Monty, and Base Mage to get into the top eight. Once in the top eight, he ends up falling to Hurt. That's just a really difficult matchup for him, even though it's a very good one for Midman. Hurt is just exceptional at that, and we talk about that when we talk about Hurt. And he ends up beating Riddles once he goes into the loser side before falling to Yoshi Dora. And I want to make a point that Doramigi and Toraguri were the big wild cards coming into this event. We knew that they were going to do well. We just didn't know how well they were going to do. And they only lost to Japanese players. Not a single NA player could take either of those guys out. And it makes sense. There's no Banjo players that are like Toraguri. And there are definitely no Minmin players that are like Doramigi. This guy is a class above everyone else on this character. And he's shooting for a top 10 spot in the world right now. So big props to him for having such an amazing season so far. And Yoshidora, the guy that beats him, his season's been a little bit up and down. But this is definitely one of the ups. He picks up wins on Quandel, Dingle, Lingleton, Raflo, and ouch to get into the top eight once in the top eight he ends up losing to spargo where then he beats toroguri and dorambiki before falling to spargo once again but in the second set he manages to take it to game five yoshi versus swords is just not fun at all i honestly don't have any idea how he even made that set so close versus spargo yoshi dora is such an incredible player and he's another one of those japanese players that it's like he's going to zero events but i just want to see more of him because he's just such a treat to watch and our grand finalists are going to be Spargo in second and Hurt in first. Spargo's going to pick up wins on Terracatori, Big D, and Riddles to get into the top eight. And it should be noted that he went pretty much solo cloud at this event, but he did play Corrin versus that Kazuya because it's just a not fun matchup at all for Kazuya. Then once in the top eight, he ends up beating Yoshidora, falls to Hurt, then he beats Yoshidora once again, and falls to Hurt once again. But he does manage to take one more game in the second set that he plays versus Hurt because the first one was a 3-0, second one's a 3 one so there is adaptation there and Sparrow I think is poised to be the best player in the world right now we're only halfway through the 2024 season at least the first half of the 2024 season we still got a whole bunch of events but he just has so many reps under his belt and every single one of them is a podium finish and you can make that argument for Akola and Sonics as well but sparrow has got like double triple the events of those guys so until they start showing up more Sparrow is potentially looking like the best player in the world right now but he wasn't the best player at this event because Hurt managed to win Battle of BC, winning Snake's first major since Ally won Pound all the way back at the start of the game with zero sets dropped. He ends up beating RMA, Mr. R, Syrup, and Toragori to get into the top eight. Toragori, the only person that was able to take him to game five. He beats Toragori, or rather Dormiki, 3-0 in what is Snake's worst matchup easily, in my opinion. Mimin is just so good versus Snake, but Hurt knows how to play around it perfectly he also played against syrup's nest and that's another very difficult matchup for snake that he once again played perfectly and he beat spargo in the winner's finals 3-0 and 3-1 in the grand finals and straight up hurt just looked like the better player at this event the way that he plays without snake grenade is the best snake in the world the way he uses nikita is the best the way he does pretty much everything with this character is just the best he is genuinely unbelievable and i don't even know where to rank him because he's only been to two major events but one of them is a win here the other one is a fourth place at Kowloon. some people have been calling him a top five player top three player in the world and i don't think he has enough results for that to be justified but when you look at him play it's kind of hard to argue against it he's just so good and i cannot wait to see more from him and with that i thank you all for watching i hope you enjoy the sport it's been absolutely unreal as of late if there's anything i left out got wrong or if you just want to say hi leave a comment down below be sure to sub while you're down there and i will see you all in the next one Bye bye our fifth place finishers are going to be Riddles and Toruguri. Starting off with Riddles, he's going to pick up a win on Liam, which was his closest set of the tournament 
easily the only time that he ends up going game five last stock last hit pulls off the reverse 3 -0. absolutely bonkers could have absolutely gone Liam's way massive shouts to him for that one and then he beats MFA and Lancelot before falling to Spargo's Corrin then he beats Sirip to get into the top eight once in the top eight he destroys Ouch and then gets destroyed by Doran Migi in turn getting three stocked in game one it's just a very difficult matchup for Kazi though the Terry did do a little bit better so shout us to him for that but this is going to be Real's first top eight of 2024 and I'm very certain that we're going to see more of this guy in the top eight because it wasn't like he had bad performances. He just kept getting ninth and 13th place a bunch. But now you get your first top eight. It's just going to snowball from here, especially with a player of his caliber. But the run of the tournament comes from Toraguri, who gets fifth place. Another top eight for this guy with solo Banjo Kazooie. I don't know how he does it. He picked up wins on Spam Cop lemon and mk leo i know i said earlier on that dimitri over tilde was maybe the biggest upset of the tournament but toroguri over mk leo is definitely the biggest upset of the tournament 3-0 by the way and it was all versus the joker has a game five set with hurt the only player at the tournament that was able to even take hurt to game five and then he ends up beating big d to get into the top eight once in the top eight he beats base mage and loses a game five set to yoshi Dora that he low key should have won he kind of choked game five but it's not the end of the world he will bounce back I don't get how Toraguri is so good. It is it is genuinely incredible.